I'd like to hit 5,000 subscribers by the end of the year and 84% of everybody who watches these videos is not subscribed. So if you do enjoy today's video or any of the ones you might've seen here in the past, please consider subscribing and thank you so much for watching. If you guys were here when I started playing Melty Blood, you know that I wanted to learn C Arcoid, but I ultimately decided she was a little bit too hard for me and I started playing Full Moon Alco. And that's what I've been playing up until I saw this video in my sub box today. Over on the Anime Illuminati channel, uh, Giuna made a video basically showcasing Arcoid and how she kind of compares to her type Lumina counterpart based on the uh, trailer that came out. But then he showed some gameplay of Goichi. And Goichi was playing Arcoid, it was like 160p back in like 2012. And I was watching it, and then this happened. Again, the Smith, again, oh my god. The double mix, and again, advanced combos right now. God damn. That is one of the sickest combos I've ever seen, and I want to try and learn it, at least part of it. So what I'm going to do now is slow down that video, and then piece together what the combo is based on what attacks I can see. So this looks like 2A, 2B, uh, 2, or 5B, 2C, 5C. I don't even know what that is. Let me go, let me open up the game and see what move that is. All right, so based on what I can see, it looks like that's uh, 236B, this one. And I didn't know you could charge this up. So see, I can do it full speed, but I can also just charge it up. And it looks like in the video, you have to charge it up in order to like do the, uh, the next part. Okay, so I'm back at uh, where he started the combo. So let's go through it again. It's going to get one more throw here. 2A, 2B. That looks like 5B, 2C, 5C. He does the... Ch there's the charged... Uh, two what the hell? Wait a minute. Let me go back a second. So that was the 236 hitting right here. He does TK half circle back move? I don't even know what that one's called. He's doing that TK like a astonishingly low to the ground. So on the hitbox here, let me see if I can turn on the uh, hitbox viewer real quick. So if you look at the bottom left, you can see my hitbox inputs now. So what he's doing is jump and then uh, half circle back and B, right? This move. Oh, that move right there. But he's doing it extremely low to the ground, which means he's... I guess he's inputting the half circle uh, before he leaves the ground like that. So he's inputting the half circle and then he's doing the jump on the last input. Wow. That's really hard to do consistently though. I only got it like one or two times right there. All right. I'm back at the starter. So there is the, the 5C, 236B charged, the TK, and then the 5B, 2C, Wait, oh, one second. I think I saw that wrong. So we're back here. 5B. Oh, 2B, 2C. 5C. Another 236B charged. And what is this? That looks like 5A, 5A, 5A. 5B, 2B, 2C. And then 4C. Uh, and then it looks like standard air combo right here. BC, BC, air throw maybe? Oh, he does super, but I'm guessing you could like air throw after that. So I, needless to say, I don't think I'm going to learn this combo all in one video, but uh, the biggest hiccup and the, what I need to learn now is how to consistently do that TK uh, half circle back. And the most consistent way I've been able to do it so far is uh, pressing, if you look at the hitbox viewer again, pressing these three buttons on the same frame uh, seems to let it come out a lot more consistently, right? So let me see if I can do it again. So that's that's about as many times as I could do it. <laughs> Another thing that helps is if you're sort of losing your rhythm or you're losing like uh, the feel of it on the uh, buttons here, uh, just do like the normal quarter or half circle back one and then think of it as adding an input like that. So I think that's what I'm going to be practicing for the next couple hours here. And hopefully by the next video, I can show you a lot more progress. But uh, I saw that combo on GU in his video and I knew I had to learn it, at least part of it, because it just looks so sick. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video or any of the ones you might have seen here in the past, please consider subscribing. And thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you again soon.